down in two yeah. days. Weird, strange, crazy, goofy stories in the news rip right from today's headlines. In the far back pages, here we go. All right, so firefighters in Port St. Uh, Lucie, mm-hmm. Florida, Florida, got a call a few weeks ago about a house on fire. When they got there, one of the bedrooms was totally up in flames. Oh, no. They quickly put it out. Then they started investigating how it started. They do that, yeah. Turns out, 39-year-old woman uh, Maybrit Canterbury and her 47-year-old husband live in the house. And apparently, they'd been having massive argument that week. Uh Uh-oh. So they kept taking each other's stuff into the backyard and setting it on fire. (laughs) Oh, yeah? Well, how about this? (laughs) Eventually, though, uh, Maybrit, she skipped that last step, and she just (laughs) lit her husband's clothes up on fire in his closet. In the house. Yeah. Sure, that makes sense. I won't bring it outside. Let me just light it up right here. That's an extra step. Who needs to do that? So that's what caused the house fire. Yeah. She's been arrested (laughs) for ours. Wow. And stupidity. (laughs) They might need a little counseling, too. Maybe. Yeah. Well, you know, you've heard of all sorts of things that, uh, you know, there's a fire going on, speaking of fires, or mm. something's burning. Mm-hmm. Sure. Well, in this case, in the Iowa capital, that's uh, in Des Moines, Iowa, a burnt bowl of macaroni and cheese to force the evacuation of the Iowa capital. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's Oops. mac and cheese got a little overdone. Wow. I guess they walked away or something, and it really, it really burnt uh, in the microwave. It smoke prompted a short evacuation of the entire building until they could find the source of the smoke, and it was the burnt mac and cheese. Oh, my god! Aren't gosh. you embarrassed if that's you? Wow, no yeah. joke. <laughs> Nobody's going to own up to that one. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, we uh, we got to go back to Florida. Okay. 40-year-old David Durham of Naples, Florida, has broken into at least three cars over the last few months, and last week, the cops finally traced the burglaries to him. And when they arrested him on Thursday, David was wearing a T-shirt that said, quote, Warning, I do dumb things. <laughs> hey. he, he still had it on when they took his mugshot, of course. Uh. And so for him, they had to take it from the waist up so the shirt could be seen. Yeah. He, Gotta have that in the picture, definitely. He is facing several charges. <laughs> You know, there ought to be a charge for just living in Florida, I think. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's... Rise and shine. You're waking up with Jim and Lisa. Kicker 102.5.